That's well and good. I now know my time up. Am I done? What do I need to find now? Time down. Very good, Jerry. So Jerry's predicted my next conundrum, which was, I know, let's go back to, what do we need to know for these problems? Three things. Just wait up. We know, time, we know our acceleration. What else do we know? At this point here, at right at the top. Segment two, we're treating this like a new problem. We know acceleration is equal to negative 10. Very good, VI is equal to zero. The V final has become our initial velocity, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Nathan, what else do we know? Um, oh, we also know final velocity. Do we? Do we? Uh, isn't the top of, which one are we doing? Segment two, now this is segment two. Segment two, because I thought that 3.5, like, does that relate to the first one? Yep. So it took 3.5 seconds to reach this point here. What I'm getting at is do we know our third piece of information? Right now. We don't. So we need to find something out. What can we find out? Distance. Very good. So what do we need to do to find out distance? What do we need to do to find our distance? Do we need to deal with segment two? We're going back to segment one. Going back to segment one and we're saying, well, how do we find our distance? How many things do we know in segment one? Four. So we can pick whatever equation we want, providing it's got displacement in it. Cool? Which one do you want? Is it speed over time? You can't use speed times time or speed over, you can't use speed over time, oh, sorry, speed times time because the speed's changing the whole time. Why do we have negative 10 there if we're doing segment 1 before? If segment 1 is positive. It's not positive. Down's always negative. Yeah, so down is negative, but if we measure how long it takes for the top to get to it, isn't the top it's positive then? Yeah. yeah, the time is positive. I haven't found my distance yet. It's going up. It's going down. So it's technically going down acceleration. Yep, let's pick the equation. So, D equals VIT plus AT squared divided by 2. Happy with that? Yeah. So, what's. We don't know D. What's VI? 35 times. 3.5 plus. Ah, very good. Negative 10 times 3.5 squared divided by 2. And then you would get your calculator out because I don't expect you to know that off by heart.
Yeah. Well, no, I might have got it right. I was just doing my head. What did the calculator get? 61. Oh, maybe it's right. 35 times 3 points. Yeah, you could be right. <laughs> no, I got... Did you use your brackets properly? <laughs> yeah. Yep. You could be right. That's that one. That's right. Is the total time eight point two seconds? Oh, no, no, I've stuffed up. I've stuffed up. That's sixty one point. What was that? Sixty one point. Yeah. That's better. Okay, now that we've got 61.25, what do we know now? So we know three things. What's the third thing we know? Distance equals. And this is where the 50 comes back. Add the 50. So now we've got 61.25 plus 50. 35 meters per second is like 100 kilometers an hour. It's quicker than 100k an hour. If you shot something up at 100k an hour, would you expect it to go? Well, it's pretty quick. Now, we know D. What do we want to find out? What was the whole purpose? Time. Time. So we did an equation with D, V, I, A, and T. Now everyone's thinking that we've tried that equation. It didn't work for us. It didn't work last time when we put in D equals V, I, T plus A, T squared divided by 2. That didn't work. Why will it work this time? What's different? Nope. We, we knew the distance last time. Didn't we? It was 50 metres up. We need to go 50 metres down. What's different? What was my initial velocity before? <laughs> now it's zero. What's going to happen to this T? The problem before was that we had two values with T that I couldn't simplify any further. One was T squared, one was T, wasn't it? And because we don't know quadratics, we can't deal with that. But we can deal with the squared by itself, can't we? So now we've got 111.25 equals A, which is negative 10, times T squared divided by 2. I'll let you rearrange that to your heart's content. Oh, what have I stuffed up? I'm going to get a syntax error here. I've made a mistake. No, I've got negative acceleration. Yeah, but why is my answer not... I should have a positive... Yeah, so which value should I change? Why should my distance be negative, not positive? Because I'm travelling 111 metres down. 